Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which is entitled MAGA is now running the house. Don't be relieved by Kevin McCarthy's marathon struggle to get elected. In truth, it was only entertainment. C-SPAN was allowed in and the country thought that that meant transparency. It didn't. The real show was not on C-SPAN, but behind the scenes. Ask yourself, do we know who was quietly calling him? Do we know what Kevin had to promise, and what Faustian bargains he had to make? While we all saw the machinations on the floor, we will never know how those votes and bargains were transacted, or what strange roads we will now have to travel. The Freedom Caucus Republicans who now run Kevin will never tell us. But they will show us by forcing the House to destructive and malicious measures at every turn, including investigations of Hunter Biden, Tony Fauci, the Capitol Police, the January 6th Committee, the DOJ, the FBI, and more. Kevin and his handlers will spend our tax money doing things that have no use or benefit. We know they will not address the problems facing the country. We know they will refuse to increase the debt ceiling and cut defense, social programs, environment and Ukraine. It's hard to find optimism in Kevin's election. More likely, he and his handlers will do profound damage to us over the next two years and beyond. This is Trump's legacy. He elevated the deniers and lockstep nutcases to achieve chaos and enhance his attempts at a comeback. Sadly, the inmates are now running the asylum. They will stall Biden's initiatives and do everything possible to undermine his 2024 campaign and our influence around the world. They will move us to autocracy and make us even more of a global laughingstock. Thank you GOP. We should never vote for you again. We knew the insurrection was only a dress rehearsal for things to come. We knew that those involved in it would try again, and that they would learn how to do a better coup for later. The conspiracy has now mutated to another kind of insurrection by the GOP, this time on the floor of the House, something even more threatening than before. Of course, this has global effect. The world is moving to the right, and those in other countries are emulating what Trump did. Look at Bolsonaro in Brazil. Monkey see, monkey do, an echo chamber of insurrection. So if you thought the midterms would bring us back to rationality, think again. The Freedom Caucus is in charge. They control Kevin, and thus the House and Congress. Woe is us, from now to 2024, when it's either Trump, God forbid, or DeSantis, who is famous for busing immigrants to New England and enabling torture in Guantanamo. It's hard for the Democrats to come up with a strategy to deal with what has happened. Hold on to your hats, your civil rights and your quality of life. We're going to a place where we haven't been before, and clearly we're not going to like it at all. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. Aloha.